Established in 1881, the University of Connecticut now hosts approximately 18,000 undergraduates on its 4,400-acre campus and stores. Student safety at the university has been cast in a negative light by the media as of late, with multiple student death and backlash from survivors of sexual assault who said that the system was less than accommodating. Still, there are those who claim that at base level, the university has efficient safety measures in place that make them feel secure while going throughout their days. Safety protocols, typical of most campuses, are in place at the University of Connecticut. They're enforced by the local police department. Blue light posts are strategically placed around campus, offering emergency assistance at just the push of a button. Their alert notification system sends out texts and emails to students in real time when a potentially dangerous system is unfolding or has recently taken place. Students are encouraged to enroll in self-defense classes and dorms are kept locked down. The University of Connecticut is no stranger to parties. In fact, one recent video of an intoxicated student getting into a fight with a police officer at the dining hall went viral. Students do sometimes fear for their safety during spring weekend, perhaps the most notable party weekend of the year, and during holidays. Sporting events have resulted in riots in the past. What's one of the most unfortunate products of underage drinking? Sexual assault. There's a general feeling that survivors of sexual assault are not given the proper care that they deserve from the school. Five sexual assault victims, all of whom were UConn students, recently were awarded a $1.3 million settlement after filing two federal complaints with the Department of Education. The article says that the University of Connecticut is one of 67 institutions currently under investigation for the mishandling of sexual assault cases. To stay safe, there are several simple rules you and your fellow Huskies should follow. First, the obvious. Don't walk alone late at night in unlit areas. Most importantly, take advantage of the school's escort and safe ride services. While some students might place a stigma on using them, there's nothing shameful about ensuring you arrive home safe and sound. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.